It was spring on the island of Sodor, and the engines were busier than usual with passenger trains. A large group of enthusiasts had ordered coach tours along the railway. Edward's branch line was so overwhelmed by the amount of passengers that the Fat Controller had arranged for Birdie to help out. Unfortunately, this left the Farquhar engines with even more passengers and not enough coaches. To solve the problem, Caroline the car was ordered to work with Thomas to reduce the overflow of passengers on board Annie and Clarabelle. She didn't like this at all. She hated being crowded with people, and Thomas grew tired of waiting for her all the time. Bertie was much faster than Caroline, and Thomas was fed up with the delays. What took you so long? he asked indignantly as Caroline stopped at the station. We can't have delays like this. It will make the enthusiasts think the railway is unreliable. Well, Caroline said darkly, if your controller had more engines, you wouldn't have any issues now, would you? Making delicate cars like me pick up your slack? Disgraceful! Pa! snapped Thomas. If you had a better attitude, you'd get lots more work done. And he flounced away, leaving Caroline very agated. That car is so rude! That car is so rude! grumbled Annie and Clarabelle to Thomas on their journey. Thomas was beginning to miss Bertie. As the days went by, more and more enthusiasts came to the railway. Caroline became very full, and Daisy even needed a brake van to carry them all. The Fat Controller had no other option but to arrange for Bulgy the Double Decker Bus to work on the branch line. He's a rotten sword, warned Oliver to Thomas. He kept going on about how our railway was useless and that the roads were better. Last I heard, he was a hen house. Or a vegetable bus? Thomas was dismayed. Now his branch line had two rude vehicles. Bulgy did help to even the workload on the line, but he wasn't very humble about it. He ranted on and on to the engines about how much better the roads were. Surprisingly, he was extremely rude to old Caroline. You're a sorry excuse for a car. You can't even go a mile without breaking down. Far too outdated to be of any use. You make us road users look bad. Listen here, you ruffin. I won't stand for any of your nonsense. Stay out of my way and we won't have any issues. From then on, both car and bus stayed away from each other and there were no further arguments much to the engine's relief. During one of Caroline's trips, they passed Crow's Farm and eventually reached the crossing. As Caroline slowed to a stop, there came an awful noise and smoke poured from her engine. You've broken down again, old girl. We'll have to cancel your other journeys for the rest of the day until we can get you repaired. The driver and passengers got out and went up the laneway to find a telephone, leaving Caroline stranded. Well, at least I'm still on the road. She had spoken too soon. Bulgy came speeding down the lane, and before he could stop, he bashed right into the back of Caroline, shoving her onto the track. Broken glass fell from her back window as her tires screeched onto the rails. What are you doing here? snapped Bulgy. You're blocking my way! Move along, you crankpot! Then there was more trouble. A whistle echoed in the distance, and Thomas rounded the bend with Annie and Clarabelle in tow. Caroline hooted in alarm as Thomas's driver jammed his brakes on. The two vehicles shut their eyes tightly. Ah, 
Are you all right? panted Thomas. He had stopped just in front of Caroline's door. Just fine, my dear. Thank you for stopping. Caroline gave a sigh of relief as Bulgy gazed in amazement. Bulgy's passengers clapped and cheered for both Caroline and Thomas. Soon the old car was hauled away by Terrence the tractor and Clarabelle took Caroline's passengers and her driver on board. Later, Thomas was taking his last train for the day when he spotted Caroline being mended in the yards. Glad to see you're looking better again, approached Thomas sincerely. I'm sorry I was rude to you, Caroline. You really did help with the enthusiast trains. The old car smiled at the blue tank engine. It should be me apologizing to you, my dear. If you hadn't stopped so quickly, I would have been in the scrapyards. Oh, rubbish. You're really useful, just like the rest of us. The fat controller, who had been listening from the platform, strolled over. He's right. You've done a very good job, Caroline. Bulgy, however, has been very reckless and hasn't taken any care of his passengers at all. I think it's back to vegetables for him. Bulgy growled from the yard. Pa! muttered the bus as he rolled begrudgingly home. You see, Caroline? You are useful after all. Caroline beamed. Thank you, Thomas. Both car and tank engines sat happily at the station, quite content with their new friendship. Yeah, boo snoops.